the best thing to do when people are hiding is take away all the hiding spots. And, and I think that that's what this class has been about, is to get rid of all of the hiding spots. Let's have a conversation, Pat. All right, here Very we go. Very first day, we walk into class. What were your impressions? My impressions were, man, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Zach was pretty cool, you know, I was looking forward to it. I was learning things that I didn't really know about before. First day of class, what were your thoughts? What do you remember? Uh, hmm. It's kind of hard question to answer. I was honestly a little bit stoned, kind of am right now. Wait, hold on. How do I look? I look good. How's the brains? These braids are pretty. You look like Missy Elliott. Yeah. <laughs> I learned a, a lot from Melissa and Kelsey, but none of the stuff that I learned from them was relevant to anything. So, what were your first impressions of Zach when you saw him? He seemed a bit odd, a little off. Eccentric, mm -hmm. you know, real artiste. Zach was awesome. I mean, you know, he was cool. He had experience. He had a lot to talk about. He had a lot to share with his students. So start going up. Uh, okay, so now we have the very high. Uh, it's a little quieter. Oh, okay, good. That's yes, tough for me. Yeah, he was good. It was fun. Cold weather had just hit, and Zach was still wearing shorts, and that's when it dawned on me that he was Canadian. Zach, I knew you were Canadian because you said A. Did he really? He said A. I don't, I think I missed that. I well, think I, I knew it. He says A. You say A quite often. I didn't want to be taught by a Canadian. <laughs> I mean, when I first walked in, I saw Zach's interesting haircut. He had this little hair flip going on, and it was bright orange. He kept on doing this weird thing with his eyebrows, but I mean, it all fascinated me when he did it. Zach is no ordinary guy. Zach is very interesting. Marilyn and Zach, yeah, they, uh... They're right on the edge, man. I feel like every time I walk into class, like, we're at the boiling point. It's about to pop off. You know, I never liked Mary Lynn. He says he's not a professor. He is not a professor. I would say that Mary Lynn is essentially a curse on whatever employer or television station or person that she meets in the street. Say you pass by somebody in the street, Mary Lynn is essentially a curse to that person. So it's actually pretty funny how me and Mary Lynn ended up meeting. I was trying to cross the road and she was driving her car. So instead of waving, I, I hit Andrew with my car. So I was like, oh my God, I just, I'm about to kill this kid. As I was laying on the ground and she was looking down at me. This could be his final breath. So he's looking into my eyes, looking into his eyes, calling 911. I was just staring at her eyes. Her blue eyes were just staring at me and that's when I knew she was the one. He became obsessed with me, and I felt so bad. You know, I hit this kid with my car, I have to give him a first date, and because his leg is broken, I have to give him a second date because he can't drive, I have to drive. And then after the second date, it just kind of kept going and we're dating. <laughs> Mary Lynn, what are your thoughts on her? Um, I kind of think she's a lesbian. Mm -hmm. um, at least I thought so, but. Shouldn't seem to be picking up the hints. Andrew and Mary Lynn are going to be getting married. Uh, I figured. Uh -huh. what, yeah. what gave it away to you? When they were talking about <laughs> Halloween costumes, they were going to match. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> They're totally banging, but I don't think Mary Lynn's into it. <sighs> Melissa. Super cool girl, but she always smells like alcohol. And the, the whole class smells like hand sanitizer. Uh, she even offered me, she bought a whole handle of vodka to class and she offered me a sip. I was like, we're in the middle of class, what are you doing? Melissa's pretty cool. I mean, you know, she has a good project and everything. So, um, oh, oh, there we go. Excellent. Excellent. She's Thank here. Get out, get out of the shot. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Melissa has a drinking problem because she smells like straight vodka uh, on Tuesday. And I mean, you, you hear the shit that comes out of her mouth. <laughs> now he thinks that it's not good enough. And I just don't understand what he wants. I don't understand. It's like she's drunk 24 7. I think she has a drinking problem mostly because, you know, she drinks in class and she slurs her words. I have braids, I'm a badass, and I'm from PY. If the alcohol is helping her to work, if it's nourishing her soul, then I think that that's, that that's what she needs as an artist. Patrick, for example. He's just a 
generally annoying individual. Why is that? Um, he smells like Cheetos. Kelsey Edwards. I don't like her. I got a word from her that she said I have Cheeto breath. And I'm confused. I'm like, I haven't eaten Cheetos in like five months. I don't go for the Cheetos. I'm practically, I might as well be allergic. No one likes smelling like cheese. I brush my teeth every morning. I do my, my hygienic routine and you know, but uh, her project's good. You know, she has an interesting uh, concept. Patrick, woo. I mean, you'll never see a more smiley guy on campus, but like, I think he's a psychopath. And I'm in my khakis, same like Hawaiian shirt with the flowers, you know, and shoes and everything. And, and a guy's like, yo, are you a Trader Joe's employee? I'm like, am I a Trader Joe's employee? No. And he's like, well, that's a nice shirt you have there. Have a good day. He might have killed people. No one's that polite. Neat. You meet him. He's very down, doesn't smile a lot, but I think he's a little misunderstood. I think I get him, even though he doesn't want to look at me. Um, so the fact that he doesn't look at you, that doesn't make you think he's not interested. You think quite the opposite. Oh, he's definitely interested in me. You know what Nate is? Nate is that type, hard to get. Mm -hmm. But I got him. How are you gonna do that? You know, I texted him and we were texting a little bit back and forth. I saw him look at his phone, he didn't answer, but he smiled. But if you think about it, there's life in cinema. Your job right now, guys, is to be artists. Excuse me, class, but I have something to say. Since the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew I could not live without you. I cannot go through my life without you by my side. And I feel confident that you feel the same way, if not more. Will you marry me, Mary Lynn Buckley? No. I have an announcement. Nate, from the moment you refused to make eye contact with me, I realized Andrew sucks, but you don't. Will you marry me? I don't know why you think that I'm even remotely into you. Can we just like get back to class? Like. Wait, Mary Lynn. Is it 420 already? You don't go out and make something amazing in a night. Like, you're not that fucking, I'm not that fucking good. No, no. like, like, definitely I can put together this, this thing like the Colin video or whatever mm -hmm. in class, but you can't, no. <laughs> no, making a movie is a tremendous amount of work. Mm -hmm.